Oh, hey, sounds like the party started. Want to let me go and join in? No? Of course not. You hate fun. Whoa. <laughs> wow. The end, huh? Let's see you try something now that I'm free. Foolish hedgehog. Getting out of your chains does not make you free. Now, come and face the inevitable. Ha! The only thing inevitable here is my foot kicking your butt! Mm. All right, now we're taking on Zavik, who apparently hates fun. Yeah, and believe it or not, I actually do like this boss fight compared to the two boss fights he had in Sonic Lost World. Because let's be honest, the fights in Sonic Lost World were piss easy, actually, because you have a charge homing attack. You can actually beat him in two hits in the uh, World 6 fight, and in the last one, it's just, a, it's, just a, it's just a Mario ripoff fight. Not too difficult, not too troublesome. Here, it's at least decent, it's creative, but... If you're playing this game for the first time, in order to hit Zavik, you actually have to... You don't jump and then homing attack into him. You actually have to wait for Sonic to jump automatically, then homing attack. How the fuck were people supposed to figure this shit out back then? Yeah, so like, you would think like, oh, just wait till Zavik lands the, uh... Buzz Bomber on the bottom, and then you jump and homing attack. No, you don't jump. You're supposed to let John Sonic jump automatically then you're homing attack how the hell are people supposed to figure this shit out back then and don't give me the excuse to just use a youtube guide oh this is bullshit you should be able to you know you shouldn't be able to program something like that so so difficult like that sega you fucking idiots all right now we're in the second phase right here yeah the only difference is that the that the, that the platforms are a little bit more narrower and of course you know zavik has got more room to uh he's got more room to do extra attacks okay the good thing is just watch out for the drop shadow and just hit him and that's it yeah it sucks that in this boss fight you don't actually you know fight Savic one-on-one -on -one. I mean yeah he's using a giant you know buzz bomber I get that but still I want boss fights where Sonic could literally you know beat him up with his bare hands like seriously especially for the shit he's been through he's been tortured for six months like, what the fuck whatever there we go we're already done I always like this animation. It's pretty kick-ass. No. I, I like the background of the uh, of the prisoners cheering for you. That's pretty cool. Ugh. Yeah, because of COVID and everything. So it's always cool having a crowd cheer for you. I have to bring that up. All right, we're done with that. And I'll join you for the next part. Peace out. that sound again whoa it's not time for thinking it's time for running yes, they found out I well, all right let's get the fuck out of here all right now we're gonna escape the death egg all right so easier said than easier said than done but obviously Sonic does a lot of the talking for us I don't really have to explain much of what we have to fucking do yeah. Overall, the level design here, eh, it does have a branching pathway here and there, but they all lead to the same fucking path, so I wouldn't say it's a, it's a true branching pathway, because branching pathways are supposed to lead you to goodies, or at least to alternative shortcuts, but they all lead to the same fucking spot. Yeah, so right here, all you gotta do is boost, jump, and that's it. It's not too difficult. I don't do well in tight spaces. I'll pick back Eggman for putting me Yeah, and avoid the lasers. That's about it. There we go. Might as well take some boost gauge to go. Yeah, again, I don't like the fact that they brought the wisp back to boost. Like, why was that even a decision? Why can't you just have rings be the default energy source needed to boost like in Sonic Unleashed and Generations? Why did you have to bring the wisp back for that? 
It's more frustrating doing that. Yeah, you got a red star ring right there. And by the way, the red star rings serve no fucking purpose in this game. You would think they would they would allow you to unlock Supersonic, but no. To unlock Supersonic, he's basically free DLC. Yeah, he's free DLC. When the game first came out, everybody was charging two dollars for him, and then uh, Sega got called out for that, and they made him free DLC because you'd think at least getting all the red star rings would get you Supersonic, but no. I don't even know what the fuck you get out of that, and I don't care. Cause like I said, I mean, I just don't like this game. All right, this part right here, it's an automated section right here. Yeah, even with Super Sonic right here, this is an automated section right here. You turn into default Sonic right here, even if you're Super Sonic, which is fucking weird. It's a weird programming, uh, it's weird programming, but whatever, I don't make the fucking rules. All right, right here, we just have a quick time event, which is fucking piss easy. So many cinematic quick time events, Sega, what the hell? Are you really trying to show off the Hedgehog Engine 2 for this fucking game, which took three years to develop? I mean, the graphics are okay, don't get me wrong, but they're not on par with the 360 or Unleash's graphics. But whatever, I mean, it's a, it's a high, but it's not worth 40 bucks, not in my opinion. Shit, Force is not even worth half of that, in my honest opinion. But whatever, we're done with this fucking stage. Let's move on. Shall we? Or I'll see y'all in the next area. There, everything's cool. Are you here to rescue me? Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It's been a while since I've seen a friendly face. Hey, rookie, you still in one piece? Oh, sure. Don't even bother to ask how I am. Sonic, Amy? I'm so glad. Hold up, Amy. Hold up. Is there an exit around here? Your concern is touching, Knuckles. 